Good morning and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In this episode, we are going to work on the pockets at the back here. And I have an idea for here, but you know, I changed my mind, so who knows if we'll get there or not. Um, I did decide I'm gonna make this two pockets. I didn't wanna completely cover the back. So I just, I have that Holly and Ivy music that I said I really liked. So I folded the top over to protect this and put just a little thumb notch, but folded the bottom up. So that's really stable. And I just glued it with glue stick. So I'm gonna, that's gonna go there. And then I have this piece of the Graphic 45 cardstock. That's gonna be my second pocket. Okay, and then this is a cut apart of the paper pad. And I just thought, you know, it just needs to be a little shinier. So I used my VersaFine ink, which looks like this if you're new and you don't do heat embossing. The VersaFine ink, okay? And so I just, I smushed this onto my VersaFine and then I laid it on a piece of paper and I sprinkled it with this ultra thick embossing powder. This is a Ranger product and I heat tooled it. Now this has two layers, okay? And I had to melt it a few times. I'm sorry if the traffic noise is loud. I have windows open in here cause it's really stuffy and I'm trying to get some airflow. Um, anyway, so I heat embossed it. Now I did crack it on purpose one time because I thought, oh, it could look like cracked glass, but it didn't look nice. So I remelted it. Um, and I use a piece of corrugated cardboard, lay it on there, and then use my heat tool because that allows the heat to go underneath and melts it really well. Um, do be careful with the embossing powders because this, it's almost like a hot plastic when it's melting and you really can burn yourself. It will stick to you. Ask me how I know. Um, anyway, so there's that. So I just, I remelted it a couple times and you can look at it in different lights and if it's got little divots or you didn't get it quite how you like it, just take your heat tool at different angles. Again, being careful not to burn yourself. Um, and then sometimes, you know, I use even a pair of tweezers just to hold it down. Uh, it just depends on, you know, how powerful your heat gun is and stuff. But anyway, I, um, I like the look of it. So then I was like, well, I still want something. We still need something, maybe a little glittery behind it. So I got this roll of ribbon. I got this roll of ribbon because that's gonna add a little bit of glitter behind it. But this is a wired ribbon and I don't want the wire. So if you can get hold of that wire, can you see that? Uh, see that wire? You just pull that right out. Okay, so now it's more pliable and you don't have that rigid wire on your page. So obviously this is too big. It's going to cover my, my whole pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this down and leave a little bit of overlap. Um, just to, you know, I'm going to do the width of the pocket and a little bit of an even overlap just to give us a little glitter there. And uh, once I get that cut down, I'll be back. Okay. So I have it on there and it's pretty straight, I think. So I just used my three in one, which I have in the Sugar Bell bottle. And I glued, put the glue on the back of this paper piece and then laid my trim on it. Then I cut it down and then I've glued that to this piece. So now we're gonna glue it down. Now we're going to glue it to the back piece. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, of course my returning subscribers thank you so much for your continued support and my new subscribers welcome to my channel I'm really excited about the growth of my channel with this series it's been really amazing so thank you so much for the kind comments and the wonderful support and just thank you so much it's really exciting to me um, it's kind of a game that my husband and I are playing where are you now and I'll come out and I'll throw numbers at him and uh, he'd be like, oh, wow, that's so cool. So it's really exciting for me. So thank you very much. Um, I just really appreciate it so much. Okay, so we have that on there. And I think I've got to see that I'm overhanging just a little bit there. I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim that down. I want to make sure that we're the right width. Um, 
So yeah, thank you very much. I know I'm a little behind on this video getting it out, but I have been crazy, crazy busy. Friday, this is, what day is this? This is Tuesday. Um, my, so Friday I was gone for like 11 hours. Well, more than that by the time I actually got to where I was and returned home, I had to to help somebody and take them to get a uh, procedure done. So it ended up being a really long day. And oops, so I couldn't get in here at all on Friday. And then on Saturday, I was so tired, I couldn't even think. I mean, this is what I did on Saturday. I, I got the music paper folded and I cut the piece of paper for the bottom pocket. And that's as far as I got on Saturday. And obviously I didn't film. And then Sunday was busy. I went picking uh, blueberries and I need to go back and pick some more because uh, I usually miss the blueberry patch. And then yesterday I had to take the same person back for some testing, like follow up for the procedure that was done on Friday. So it was just a really busy, busy few days. That is a very wet napkin or wipe, I mean. So anyway, I just couldn't get in here. So I'm gonna film a little bit this morning and get it posted and let you guys kind of know I didn't fall off face of the earth. I really was busy. And, um, but then I'll get back on track. My mother-in-law is flying in this evening, so we're really excited about that. Oops. Oh, one thing I did do, one thing I did do is I did go along on these, oh, except for the front page. Oh my gosh, Jody. Okay, well, I still have to do the front page. But I did go along on my pages and I um, used the parchment. Sorry about that. We live on a busy road. I used the parchment paper along the edges just to stabilize them. But again, I did forget the front page, so I'll have to do that and make sure that one's done. Okay, so anyway. So yeah, that's where we are with this. Um, a few things. Comments from... Um, answers to questions and comments. Somebody had said I do the um, the hard parts off a film and I thought was in reference to sewing in the signatures of the uh, Reader's Digest journal cover and I don't sew signatures in on film. I've said that in previous videos. Um, there are so many people that can do that much more effectively and explain it better than I can but I just don't do it. Um, so there's that. And the other, somebody asked me if I used art glitter glue, and that was in reference to using the PVA glue on the cover of this. Yes, I do use art glitter glue. I just have not used it yet in this video, or this series, excuse me. So there was that. And oh my gosh, Susie, your Mike Myers story, I cracked up laughing. I seriously did. So thank you for that funny story. It was amazing. I could totally relate. Okay, so that, while that's drying, okay, we'll have to make some journaling cards and stuff for that. On this page, I was thinking of maybe doing a fabric flip on this page, but I wanted to kind of have a surprise underneath. So I will explain that as we go along here. Um, I'll have to run up in the attic and get some Christmas fabric, but I also want to dye some fabric, I think. And I need to find my big index cards because when you make a fabric flip, you have to have it on sturdy, something sturdy. So we'll do like a belly band across here to tuck it into. So it'll make sense. Let me gather some things. So I have not gone to get fabric yet, but I wanted to come back and say, I have these big index cards and this is coffee dyed. And these measure like five by eight so it's a little too long i'm gonna have to cut some length off of it which i will and then this is part of the cut apart and i had the rest of the sheet here but i don't know what i did with it mark came up and got me so he's gonna go to walmart so i can finish filming and um i've got to get in the shower and get some stuff done before we go get mom so width wise i want to cut this about I'm gonna go, how about maybe six and three eighths I'm gonna cut this. The wind is still blowing everything like crazy and I do apologize if it's loud with the window open. Well, I know it is loud, but 
we don't have central air and there's a really nice breeze out and it's just been so stuffy. And um, so I had to open windows for airflow this morning. So again, I do apologize for the, the noise. Oh, and the wind is blowing my stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, I have stuff going everywhere. It's okay. All right, so there's that. So then what's gonna happen is that's gonna be like, uh, <clears throat> I'll be able to, I will be able to slide this under there. So I'm just gonna glue the two edges. This will be shorter and we're gonna glue some fabric. So the fabric's gonna hang over. So you're gonna flip the fabric up and then be like, oh, what's that? And pull the card out. That's kind of my plan. I'm hoping that's gonna give us enough room. Uh, with the bow of this, I may have to change my plan. So let me work on this a little bit. And once I have it completely figured out, I'll come back. So I have here a variety of Christmas fabrics. And um, I typically pick up fabrics um, at estate sales and yard sales and stuff. Like this was in somebody's, it's a... Uh, dress she was making that um, I've already started to cut apart for the fabric for something else. So I'm just going to tear whatever piece I want and I'm going to layer these, okay? So think, if you're going to make a fabric flip, think about what you're touching, what feels good, what's aesthetically pleasing. You know, I've got kind of have my greens and reds separated, kind of. I mean, not exactly, but, um, so what is appealing to your eyes? Like, what do you want to see? What do you want to touch? Like, you know, you want it to flow. You want it to, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. It can be whatever you want, but you just want it to be like pieces that you like, pieces that you're going to want to touch, that you're going to want to flip through. Now I will get some laces out here as well. Um, and maybe I won't use as many of the Christmas actual fabrics. Maybe we'll dye some. I don't know. So, like, I'm looking at the paper and the poinsettias I love. And there's hollies in this. So, I'm liking the hollies and the poinsettias. I think that is the hollies. The holly. I think that that's one of those words that's the same. Regardless of singular or plural. Um, so... I do love this. I'm going to use this somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to use it on this. And I also have this one. So I may take a piece of that. I don't know. Sorry, I have my phone plugged in and I keep hitting the cord. Okay, so let me look in my laces and trim. Oh, look how cute he is. We have to use him somewhere. Um, let's look in my laces and trims and see what we like. Let me grab those. Okay, I closed my window, so hopefully that'll help with the noise. I do apologize. I'm just so hot. I like, oh, so I took my shower too. Not, I mean, that's probably TMI for you guys, but I'm telling you, it is just, the air is so heavy today. It's crazy. Okay, fortunately, we don't have too many days that it feels like this, and you know, it's, it's not usually like this. So I have my layers here, but I'm reconsidering this for my belly band here. And the reason why is because I wanted it to be like a surprise when we pull this out. Um, so I think I'm gonna do something different down here. And Mark just got home with groceries, so I've gotta go help him put those away and I will come back and resume my thoughts. Okay, sorry about that. Don't mind this, I'm playing with pocket ideas. Okay, so I'm starting to glue this and I thought, uh-oh, I need to come back on. Um, so I just ran a small bead of three and one across there and just a small bead, you don't need a lot. Um, you just wanna hold that fabric. And then I'm going to lay this up here, be mindful of, um, let me make sure I'm on screen here. I don't think I was, I apologize. Okay, so then when you're gonna do your next layer be mindful of how far over it is because you don't want to put glue, you know, under over here because you're not going to, um, it's not going to hold anything. So it would not be using, you know, you're not going to need the glue there, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I'm sorry, I'm not communicating well. And actually what I think I'm going to do is in this video after I glue this flip, 
And the reason for that is, how did I have this? Did I have it like that? Um, the reason for that is, is because clearly I'm scattered and that isn't fair to you. And so I was thinking we can talk about the pocket idea and you can, I'll get your, your opinion. Cause I like doing that. Like, let maybe let you see what I'm thinking of. And then you say, Hey, I like this or I like that. And that's fun. And then I'm not being super distracted with everything I need to do this morning because that's not fair to you. And I can come back in the morning once we have mom here and my stuff is all done and I feel like I can focus on what I'm doing and not um, be so scattered. So, okay, you can see I'm just, I'm using very little glue. So hopefully you can see that. And then this one, which way does this go? It's hard to tell on this lace which way it goes. It would probably help if I had my glasses on. Okay, go this way. Yeah. And the lace, you want to really be delicate, but I'm going to cover it with this Tis the Season um, label here. And so that will kind of help hide our glue. And again, you don't need a lot. You just need, you know, enough to kind of hold it because it's not like when you're flipping through this, you're going to be yanking at the fabric. You're just going to, you know, gently flip through. And like I said, it's a tactile thing. And then under here, which I forgot to do, I was going to do some stamping and stenciling, which I'll still be able to do once this is down. I just should have, um, should have um, already done it. I'm just digging for my distress ink and I don't have the overhead light on. See, I am super distracted. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I don't even know if I've said that this morning. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. And I know I did already say thank you for the wonderful support and kind comments in this series. I truly am enjoying it. I'm really excited and I have exciting news. Um, but we'll talk about that in another video. So I'll just leave you in suspense, but I have exciting news. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to tell you now. I got accepted on a design team for, for a lady. Um, and that's all I'm going to say right now. I have picked out my kit that I want to work with. So she sent those to me last night. And so I'm really eager and excited to get started. I think it's going to be so much fun. And hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. Now this kind of is raggedy along the top of here. I'm okay with that. What I may do is come in with a little bit of fussy cut lace or something and fold over the top of that. But I don't think I will. I actually kind of like the raggedy. I should have left it a little more raggedy actually. Um, but that's just my preference. You can do it super clean if you want to. I have to find all my Christmas stamps are in the attic where I was just up there. But what I want to do is I think I'm just going to come in here with just a little bit of maybe my green and just stencil in here. Just a little design to break up that index card. But that'll be writing space here. We have the writing space on the back. And then what's going to happen is whatever pocket we decide on this will slide into but only the index card portion will slide into it so i'm thinking we have the belly band right so i was thinking about that but that is not overly exciting when you flip this up in my opinion i did fussy cut around these circles but circles and i we're just not friends I thought about putting that there and just sliding it in sideways so when you are playing, you're like, ooh, circles. But I don't know about that either. And we have, where is the page? We have these cut apart. So I did think about maybe using, ooh, the polar bear. Tis the season, we could put that on a pocket. So tell me what you think. Tis the season circles or the belly band what do you think I think I know what direction I'm gonna go but I want to see where you tell me you'd like to see it go okay so on that note I'm gonna end this video I have to go make iced tea get some jello made go outside and water plants before it gets even hotter and um yeah just get my brain wrapped around it and also 
I need to, I'm gonna leave this page open and I am going to get some parchment out so I can do that. I don't wanna to forget to take care of this page because that would be bad, especially being the cover page. So I'll get that taken care of also before I come back to the next uh, video in the morning. And then this, I think I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle on because you know, we need sparkle. Okay, so have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your grace in this video. I feel like it's very scattered. I'm sure you do as well. Um, but please give me some grace and understand there's just a lot in my brain this morning. And I was worried because I'm so far out with having posted a video, um, especially if you're following along, I didn't want you to go, what happened to her? Where'd she go? So I will see you in the next video and um, I will get that filmed for you tomorrow. Bye, have a good day.